Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another DIY video. Now this DIY video is a little bit different because it's for the male presenting people of the population. Now I have been wanting to do a DIY set like this for a while, mostly targeting towards mass presenting people because a lot of my followers have been asking for it. I've noticed that you guys um, can't really find many male orientated goth DIYs out there on the internet. Clearly I am pretty femme but I do sometimes wear sort of more masculine styles so I hope this is okay. I would love it if I actually had these things designed for my boyfriend but we are working on that, that is happening in the future. But I thought I'd do this for you guys really quick. Now, anyone can wear these, it's not gender exclusive. In fact, I think they're pretty gender neutral. But I know you guys wanted some more DIYs for men. So, here you are, um, let's get into the video. All right guys, so for this DIY, you're gonna need your jumper that you want to DIY. I'm gonna be using this one that I thrifted, your donation item this is an old diy props if you can guess which video this is from some d-wings a lot pair of fabric scissors and also not pitched is a sewing machine or needle and thread so it's gonna be a really simple diy we're basically going to be cloning or taking the hood from this hoodie and attaching it to this jumper with an extra bit of embellishment this jumper already has some nice design pieces like this leather and this sleeve so it already looks different but I want to add a hood to it because I want to and this was in the don donate pile and I wasn't going to use it so first thing we need to do is cut our hood off and I'm going to cut along the pre-existing seam so that's our hood piece I'm going to put that to one side first thing you want to do is make sure that the hood you want to attach to the jumper will fit I don't think mine will but I'm just going to mock it up so I can see that is not going to fit so we're going to have to cut out a bigger neckline so to start out with i'm just going to cut around the existing ne neckline which is this sort of like ribbing so by cutting off the neckline it's already made it a little bit wider because it's allowing the fabric to stretch and it looks like it's probably going to fit now but i'm going to use the scrap fabric here to make our donor pieces i guess and then to sew these on rather than busting open the sleeve i'm going to find the center point which is up here so i'm going to first sew it down with the D-ring facing upwards and then I'm going to top stitch it with the D-ring facing down and then cut off any excess so that is how we'll be attaching the small D-ring. These little bits will allow us to attach chains or anything we have onto there and they also have a really cool bit of decoration. You can add more in more spots if you want to. I don't actually have any more D-rings like this but you can if you want to. I'm going to sew all this together making sure that I sew the hood right sides together and trapping the d-wing pieces we cut out to make sure they are snugly in there DIY all you're gonna need is some safety pins and a t-shirt. Now this is a DIY that doesn't require you to cut up the item of clothing so you can basically put it back to how it was before you DIY'd it which is cool we like doing that. So I've got just a plain black t-shirt and my safety pins. Now there are loads of different ways that you can do this. You can put the pins wherever you want, you can add like a certain pattern. What I'm going to do is just put them around the neckline and possibly the sleeves if I have enough. Um, and the bonus is you can change this up to however you want to look as well. So let's just do that real quick. Right, there we go. That is the sort of safety pin design. I just went around the collar, the sort of seam, and then down the front arms. Let's try it on to see how it looks. Alright guys, for this DIY you're going to need a hoodie. I'm using this white one because I have it for a DIY in the future, but 
we're going to use this and you want to make sure you have a hoodie that channel is thick enough to get your chain through next thing you're going to need is your chain now this is from a local diy shop but it's just your box standard chain so this diy is super duper simple you want to take your hoodie and mine doesn't have any metal grommets if you did have metal grommets you might have to remove them to ensure this chain will fit through mine doesn't have that so i'm going to tie this loop to the chain and then using the other end i'm going to slowly just pull it through you might have to widen the hole and then you can just sort of arrange the hood and then because I'm really fussy, I want to try and get the chains that to the same length. And oh, there we go. So you have your chains in your hoodie. Now you could add weight to the bottom to make sure it doesn't go back through. You don't have to. Um, and if you want to wash this, I would suggest putting it in a delicates bag and just tying the chains together so they don't come undone. So that was like a really super simple customization. Let us try it on. So guys that was it for me, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did just get a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below your favourite item from today's video, I hope there was enough different things that you could apply to your clothing. Thank you to our channel members for supporting the channel, that includes Dryer Shy, if you want to become a channel member the link is in the description down below, um, but we always stay safe, stay dark and I'll see you in the next one.